Hello and welcome to a new episode of 7 Facts. If you love geography or history, subscribe right now. I promise it'll be worth it. The Republic of Bashkortostan, also known as Bashkiria, is a federal republic that forms part of the Russian Federation. With a population of over 4 million people, this is Russia's most populous republic. This was the country's first ethnic autonomy, having been established in 1917 to represent the local ethnic group, the Bashkirs. Also known as Bashkorts, they are a Turkic nation, but their republic is actually ethnically diverse. Roughly one-third of the people are Bashkirs, one-third are Russians, and about a quarter are Tatars. The name Bashkir has, of course, a Turkic root, with Bash meaning chief or head and Kord meaning wolf, an animal still held in high regards by Turkic people. The Bashkirs have been mentioned as a separate Turkic tribe in the 7th century, so their history and culture are long and rich. During the Middle Ages, they were under the rule of the Mongol Empire, followed by the successor Khanates of the Empire. That is, until 1555, when the famous Tsar of Russia, Ivan the Terrible, defeated the Khanate of Kazan, and representatives of Western and Northwestern Bashkir tribes approached the Tsar with a request to voluntarily join Muscovy. Since then, they have been a part of Russia in one way or another. One of the biggest cities in Russia is the capital of Bashkortostan, Ufa. Over 1 million people live in this city, but it's not a crowded place as one might think. It occupies an area of over 700 square kilometers, that's about 7 times larger than Paris. During World War II, this city was where dozens of industrial enterprises, state and research institutions and the government in exile of the Ukrainian Soviet Socialist Republic were relocated to. Throughout the 20th century, the city maintained its regional importance. So much so, that in less than 100 years, the population grew from 100,000 to over 1 million. Today, according to Forbes, Ufa is still one of the best cities in Russia to do business. Both the Bashkir and Tatar ethnic groups are mostly followers of Islam, while most Russians are Orthodox Christians. But that's not the end of the story. Most of the Mari people, a local Finno-Ugric group related to Finns, Hungarians and Estonians, still practice their traditional pagan faith. According to their beliefs, nature exerts a magical influence over people. They relate to it as a sacred, powerful and living being outside of which man cannot exist. Nature serves as a source of absolute good, who always helps man as long as he does not harm or oppose it. Aside from them, Bashkortostan is also home to about 13,000 Jews, so this republic is indeed very diverse. How much do you love honey? If your answer is a lot, then you might want to pay attention. Bashkir honey, also known as Bortovoy honey, is one of the best and most sought-after types of honey in the world. And it's also one of the most expensive, about $220 per kilogram. This is mainly because it's collected from wild black bees living not in apiaries, but in tree hollows. This makes the extraction much more difficult and Bashkiria is actually one of the very few places in the world where this ancient technique is still practiced. Add to this the fact that the honey is collected only once per year, after which the tree hollow is closed for the winter and you start to get why this delicacy is so expensive. Many experts and scientists affirm that tasting and medicinal properties have no analogues in the world. And for this reason, Bashkir honey actually forms part of a cosmonaut's diet. Bashkortostan contains part of the southern Urals and the adjacent plains, so as you might have guessed, the landscape of this place is quite extraordinary. The republic is filled with 12,000 rivers and 2,700 lakes, so there's definitely no shortage of fresh, clean water. More than 40% of Bashkortostan is covered with forests. The highest peak in the southern Urals is also here, Mount Yamantau. Do check the weather though if you plan to travel here. Sometimes it can get a bit chilly in the winter, as low as minus 40 degrees Celsius. Petroglyphs are man's earliest attempts at creating art. They can be found pretty much everywhere in the world, including in Bashkortostan. But the ones found in the Shulgantash cave are actually quite beautiful. 
also known as the Kapova Cave Drawings, these ancient works of art are about 16,000 years old, although through the uranium-thorium dating technique, it was established that the oldest paintings are more than 36,000 years old. The images are of mammoths, horses and other wildlife, including the only petroglyphs of camels in Europe, but also of people, huts and other scenes that were made over a period of thousands of years. Needless to say, this is one of the most important sites for studying human development, so it's definitely worth a visit. Although, in order to secure the original paintings from degradation and vandals, tourists are only shown copies of them at the entrance of the cave. These were 7 facts about Bashkortostan. Please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content. Leave your comments downstairs and don't forget, there's a Patreon page where you can support this channel. I hope to see you next time. Bye.